One of the clear advantages to working with pastels are that pastels can be worked quickly by layering loose applications of color, resulting in a fully developed painting in a very short period of time. In this case, this painting will take 30 minutes to complete. I'm working with Rembrandt Soft Pastels on Canson Mitons paper, and I'm going to work on developing areas of color instead of getting too concerned with details that are seen in the photo reference. I'll work very loosely throughout this entire demonstration, making marks in the beginning with my entire arm, just trying to get as much information about color down on the surface as quickly as possible. In this case, I start with a light blue and even a lighter blue to create the background color. I'll work that in with my finger, and then I'll work on developing the overall shape of the building. In this case, the building is a church. I'm using a cream color to establish the shape initially. I'll also focus on areas of value that I see. In this case, there's a very dominant shadow underneath the left side of the roof of the building. A dark gray is used here to create the initial area of shadow. The same dark gray is worked in other areas on the building where there are darker values. Again, we're not concerning ourselves too much with details at this point. Instead, we're only focusing on areas of value and color that are observed from the photo reference more specifically, shapes of value and color. We'll continue to layer the cream color and the dark gray until we arrive at values that are close to what are observed in the photo reference. Keep in mind that you'll be able to layer over at the top of what colors you put down initially. This process of layering colors is what's going to develop the color that you have on the surface and make it look more realistic and believable. In this case, a bit of blue is added in the shadowed area to create a cooler shadow tone that exists in the photo reference. Darker values are intensified here using a dark brown. A bit of black is used as well, but used sparingly. This color will be mixed with additional layers on top to tone down the intensity. The applications of black are now toned down using a lighter mark. Next we'll use a bit of white to intensify some of the highlights. As these values are added and different colors as well, details will start to emerge from the image. In this case, a few marks are made for the mortar that exists in between the bricks on the chimney. A bit more shadow is added. and a bit more blue is added to the shadow to cool it further. A very light yellow is added to the top of the roof on the side from which the light source is originating. This will help contrast the cooler shadows that exist on the opposite side of the roof. Any mistakes can easily be cleaned up with an additional application of a similar color. We'll continue to work the darks and lights. We'll also focus on keeping our palette relatively limited using the cream, white, dark gray, black, brown, and light blue. A bit of color is added to the chimney, which includes an application of red, which is quickly gone over with a dark brown to make the bricks appear more natural. There are a few trees that overlap the church building. We'll accomplish the shapes or lines of these trees just using a dark brown. We'll also use the side tip of the pastel to make precise lines. In this case, I'm going to pull the marks out 
from the center part of the tree. In other words, the marks that we make should mimic the way that the tree might grow. Of course, these lines will be thicker the closer they are to the trunk of the tree and become thinner as they work their way out. Pressure is slowly released as the mark is made. Making the mark in this way will mimic the tapered line that is needed to create the illusion of branches. The same type of mark is used for all of the trees that exist within the pitcher plane. Now all that's left to do is to finish off the bottom portion of the building. Cream is used initially to establish the shape. Dark gray is added on top to create some of the darker values. Cream again is layered on top of this. A few areas of shadow are pushed a bit further, like right underneath the top of the roof using dark gray. And in just 30 minutes we've completed a painting using pastels.